Condo Calculator. The Condo Calculator is an amazing tool allowing you to compare up to three condo investments real quick and easy. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today I'll show you how to use the Condo Calculator. So go to the condocalculator.ca, put your name, put your email, and hit I'm not a robot. Okay, download now. And that's it. The file has been sent to your email. It may take a minute or two. In the meantime, you can look at the bonus. The bonus number one is a link to torontocondosforsale.com where you can find all the pre-construction condos real quick and easy. Platinum, VIP, and resale, all there. You can compare, register, everything you want. Bonus number two, there's a link right here. Bonus number two is a video that I made, how to buy pre-construction condos. that explains in simple language how you get the pre-construction condos and everything to do with it. Okay. In the meantime, you receive your file, open it, download it in uh, to your uh, Google, uh, page numbers, Google Sheets, whatever you want to use, Excel, and open it. And that's what you see. You see three columns here that compare, that compare three condos. X condos at 100 Main Avenue. You can put the name and the address here. Put, put the number of bedrooms here and put the number of square feet in here. Let's say this one is uh, 450 square feet, okay? Uh, you can enter balcony parking. It doesn't really matter for calculation. Only what's in yellow is you really need to enter. And let's say the price was really good and it's 445,000. That means I paid 989 dollars per foot. Green is result. Yellow is enter information. Uh, and my 20% deposit will be 89,000. Now let's look at the deposit. This is yellow, so you need to enter the information. Right now I have a scenario of four deposits of 5% each. The first one will be the 5% split into two, I put them together, $5,000, and 5% less $5,000, and then three more of 5% total of 20%. That means that the mortgage required is 80%, and the calculator will immediately tell you it's 256000 for this scenario. Scenario number two, I'll have two bedroom. I have, let's make this 560 square feet, and let's then make the price 619. 619900 okay? So that's $1,107 a foot. The deposit required total is 123980 These are This is the breakdown. This is all calculated for me. The breakdown of these uh, deposits, the 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%. If you want to add, you can just add any number here. You can, you can add another 5% here, or you can add 15%, or whatever you want, and the whole thing will change. Okay? We'll, we'll stick to this simple example. Uh, so 123980 is for... Uh, the deposit and the reminder is 495920 That's the mortgage required. Okay? And uh, the last condo here in the example is that condo 300 Main Avenue with three bedrooms. That's very important to put. Do not include any dents. Okay? Do not include any dents. And the size 950, uh, let's say it's uh, 909. So the price I paid for this one was 850000 So that gave me a value of $935 a square foot. I'm going to need $170,000 in deposit at 20%, four payments, or the first one may be broken into two, $42,500, total one seventy, dollars and the mortgage required will be six eighty. dollars Okay, great. There's only three more things i got to do. Uh, put the maintenance fee. Let's say here the ministries are $0.65 cents a foot, so 0.65. Uh, the municipal tax will be 1%. Okay, let me get rid of some zeros here. There you go. And... The mortgage, uh, let's say I got a really good mortgage at 2.79. Okay, everything is done for me. So now I can tell you that condo one, the one bedroom, 450 square feet, uh, that the purchase price is 445, it's gonna need 22,250, uh, four payments, total of 89,000 for the deposits. I'm gonna need to apply for a mortgage of 356,000, okay? Then my maintenance fees at 65 cents a foot will be 293 a month. Municipal tax estimate, these are all estimates, uh, 371, and the mortgage estimate is 1646, and that's based on 25 year amortization. If you want to see how I made it, just click here, and the formula will, should come up. Oh, right here. Okay, so that's your formula for payment. But I already did that for you. And the total monthly cost for this condo will be 2309, 2000, say $2,300 a month to carry this condo. That's net, 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 cash on cash, of course. Um, simplified process just to get you understanding this condo here the two bedroom 560 square feet I had to put 123 124 thousand dollars basically and I paid almost uh, and the mortgage is almost half a million for it maintenance fee is going to be 364 estimating 65 cents a foot 
taxes at 1% divided by 12, of course, will be 517. And the mortgage at 25, 25 years will be just under $2,300. And then my total uh, carrying cost for this condo, net, 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 cash on cash is $3,173, $3,200 a month. And the last one, I got a larger condo. It's a three bedroom, 999 square feet, $170,000 for deposit, four payments of 425. And the mortgage I need to get is 680,000. That brings me to maintenance fees of 591 a foot based on 909 square feet times 65 cents a foot. Uh, it brings me to municipal tax at 1%. These are all estimates again, 708 per month. Okay, and that's based on the purchase price. And the mortgage at 25 years is 2.79% is 3144. That gives me a, a carrying cost of $4,443 a month. So this is really amazing. This is basically your break-even cost right here. But to make it even easier, I just summarized everything here. So just scroll down a little bit. And there you go. There's a, there's a cash flow analysis here. So your break-even point are these three numbers. These three numbers are the numbers from the total monthly cost. Okay, that's what we're looking at. We're not looking at any other external expenses. Just that. The cost per bedroom, uh, which people don't talk about, but I do because it's really important. And the one bedroom, it'll be the whole rent because I only have one bedroom. So the rent has to be shared between one person or maybe two stay in the same condo. In the Y condo example, the two bedroom, uh, the cost per bedroom, uh, so the total cost is still, still the same, of course, and the cost per bedroom is half. It's fifteen eighty-seven. So maybe a, a roommate situation or two people sharing the rent, fifteen eighty-seven per person. That's not bad because that tells me that you know that that's reasonable because that you cannot get a one bedroom for that. And uh, the rent PSF required, that means I need to achieve $5.13 a foot in rent to get to this number. Okay, so 513 times 450 will give me this number. 567 times 560 will give me this number. And here, of course, the rent PSF is lower because I paid a lower dollar per foot on this condo. So you can start playing with these things and see what's going on. But you see the green here, 989. 1107, 935. So that that reflect that is being reflected here. Okay, great. Now the rent achieved. You can actually put how much rent you got from your tenant. So that's yellow. Yellow is enter. You can see here how to use enter value in yellow. So tw let's say I got 2,500 for this condo, um, and I'm making 191 dollars in cash flow, positive cash flow. My annual cash flow is 22.91, and my annual ROI. That is on rent alone. That does not include capital appreciation or does not include anything I pay into the mortgage. Okay, that's a whole other calculator. It's 2.57%. That is your annual ROI, cash on cash, rent only. Okay. Uh, in the example of the two bedroom, so again, my I need to get 31.73 per bedroom, 15.87 or 5.67 a foot. These are all really same variation. It's explaining this from various angles. And let's say I got 3,500 for the two-bedroom. I'm making $327 a month, or 39.22 a year at 3.16 cash on cash ROI. Again, that does not include capital appreciation, how much you gain in appreciation, and does not include how much you paid capital towards your mortgage. It's just for the rent. Okay, uh, the last one, I need to get $4,443. Uh, to break even, and I managed to get 4,500. So I'm making 57, cutting it short, kind of almost break even point here, $57 a month. Uh, I'm making $687 a year, and I'm basically making 0 0.40 of a percent. Okay, so under half a percent annual all right cash on cash. This is it, this is the condo calculator. Now, what can you do with this? You can compare, for example, three units in the same building but on different floors. So you know, I can do that. I can change the amount of numbers. I can look at three buildings, three units in three different buildings. I can see what happens if I paid more or less for the unit. So if this unit I paid 800000 then of course my PSF went down. My deposits went down. And you can use this, you know, like you can use this regardless for resale too. I, I'm going to buy this three bedroom, 909 square feet, 900 square feet for 800 um, that means that I'm paying 889 a foot. Uh, if I'm still doing it 2080, then I'm, I'm going to need 160 for my deposit, and the mortgage will be 640. Now I can put more. If you if if you want to put more, you can just add more percentage here. I add another 40,000, and of course all my payments are going down now. Okay, you see one soon. And here, 
my maintenance, the condo fees are the same regardless of the PSF because that's based on the size of the condo. But the tax uh, is based on city assessment, and that's why I'm saying it's just a rough assessment because the tax is very complicated done by impact. But just to give you an example, kind of give you a, a good rule of thumb. And of course, my mortgage will vary very much by the factor of how much I'm paying to mortgage, in this case, 640, and the percent I get, and the amortization. In this case, I fixed it at 25%, but you can go in the formula and change it here, 25 years, okay? And now I'm making uh, my monthly cost of 4250, and if I were making still that 4500, then I'm making a little bit more money. I'm making 290 a month here. I'm making about 3500 a year, and 2.17% cash on cash, okay? So this is great. Now you can play with this condo calculator and see what you can get here. Basically, put various units in, go on the MLS, go on the sites I showed you, um, go here on torontocondosforsale.com, go to the resale section, go to the menu, do a search, and you can see how these, these condos will break even or not. Now, if they're not breaking even, there's a few things you can do. You can, you can change these numbers here, of course, to make it realistic. Let's say you got a better mortgage, 2.65, 2.65. So remember, twenty nine fifty nine, and now I saved about forty bucks, fifty bucks a month. Okay, so not bad, right? Um, maybe my municipal tax is not that high, so I can adjust that. Maybe the condo fees are not that high, I can adjust that, or maybe they are higher than I thought, and they're actually seventy cents a foot, so I can adjust it here. Okay, um, of course you can also adjust the purchase price. Now mind you, the Interior square feet is only going to make a difference to your maintenance fees, but it's not going to make a difference to the mortgage itself. So if the square feet is uh, 800, okay, and I scroll here, this number here, condo fees should change. Let's see. Yeah, I did. So it dropped down. Okay. So that's working. So that's that's what you do, and you, there's really a lot of things you can do. I included a couple of good links. Because obviously, so, and here's your cash flow analysis. It'll keep changing all the time as you make this, uh, this analysis change. So if, let's say I bought a studio. Now, mind you, um, if you put zero here, uh, it's not going to work. So, you know, I consider studio as a one bedroom too. Just put one. But let's say I bought 400 square feet. And let's say I managed to pay only 409 for it. Okay, so all these numbers are changing accordingly just for this one. And now my maintenance fees are 280, my tax is 341, and my mortgage is 1489, 1500, 2110. That's my break even cost. Per bedroom is still 2110, only one bedroom, 520 foot. You know, if I'm, if I'm doing the 2500 a month still, then I'm making uh, almost $400 a month. That's pretty good. Okay, so this will help you. This tool will help you to analyze any condo real quick. Now, mind you, and this is a big disclaimer here. Real life situations are very different. They're a lot more complicated, just a spreadsheet, but it's still a very good tool. And this is what I use when I work with my clients, with buyers and sellers, to, to start assessing property that you, you, you're looking at buying or selling. Okay? Uh, you'll see Kaplan right here. Um, you can see all my links. This is my phone number. Uh, call me if you're looking to buy, sell, or assign a condo. If you need, uh, if you're asking, uh, if you have a question about the calculator, if you find any bug in it, it's all good. Uh, there's also uh, a bit of a bonus here, how to use, enter yellow, enter values in yellow, and see results in green. And I included all these investor links for you. So if you want pre-construction, click here. Assignment link, click here. Investing, go to urbanrealtytoronto.com. Uh, York will over a million. This is the link. King West, this is the link. This is the mistake here. I'll change that. Queen West Brokers. Well, I think it includes Queen West right now. Home valuation. If you want to know what your home is worth, go right here. Um, if you want to get a listing alert, just go to this link, and then you can give it an address or an area, and it'll send you what's available, what's coming up. Uh, you're watching this uh, video on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan, my Twitter, which gets a lot of private deals and a lot of assignments. Anything I don't have time to post, like, lengthy, I just put it to the Twitter. So follow the Twitter if you want, like, more information. Um, Facebook is here. If you prefer Facebook, it's more or less the same. And the LinkedIn is right here. And that's it. This is the Condo Calculator by Yossi Kaplan. Uh, from Search Realty and Search Mortgage. I hope you enjoy it. If you're looking to buy, sell, assign, rent, just talk. It's all good. Give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.